success on how many millionaires he makes in the world. That's what I think Richard does. So that's, how, that's how he counts. I mean, I think if I were Richard, that's what I would be like, dude, I've probably made on-chain data. All the, I, I've made, you know, 10,000 millionaires, you know, it's each unique wallet. So let's say half of those are real people. That's 5,000 millionaires. Or he'll probably say, well, how many more millionaires can we make in this next bull run? Plus X, so plus X supposedly will make, when it reaches one penny, it'll make 11,500 millionaires. That we know of today. <laughs> Like, what if, what if we get after OKX another 6,000, you know, new people who, you know, can afford to buy, you know, 11,000 million or whatever your, whatever the number is that turns into a billion or a, mil, or a million, you know what I'm saying? Some people might leave, you know, they might leave before even it hits to penny. True. Yeah. I mean, this is why, you know, it's community is important. You know, so they know, um, uh, you know, the people that are new, they know that everyone's there to help and, you know, how important this is. You know, Big Pharma is not for the community. We know that they're for their profit. So is the medical industry. Everything else is for their profits. This is for our profits, the community run. Well said, brother. I mean, that that's so true. Rings true, bro. Wow. I wonder how Richard, when Richard's going to come back and chill. I mean, he doesn't really need to. I mean, he can just do everything he wants to do. Mm, he won't be able to right now or yeah, because he, he will have to watch what he says. Like he already does that, right? He, he's very careful what he says, but he won't be able to like really, you know, shoot the wind. We need to be ready for this stuff. Come on, people. Haven't you learned from Richard Hard yet? He's full of surprises. One crazy thing about the buy and burn is that people don't, they focus on volume, right? Where does volume come from? It comes from the price of the assets, right? So if we have an asset that's small, then the volume is going to be small. But if Pulse or Pulse X goes up 10x from here and our community keeps swapping it like crazy, our volume could be 10 times as much. You know, then the buy and burn is based on that volume. So your buy and burns could just go crazy as well. I mean, I'm not like a full sex moon boy whatsoever. I'm only a half believer myself, but I could see some crazy things happening if full and full sex go up and we keep swapping them. I, I mean, to me, it's just if you've waited two years, wait some more. There's no way Richard's going to get on a live stream. I've heard someone make this comment where they're going to like, you know, Keep memeing him again with the chart of his, of whatever. If a coin's doing really bad, I, I just can't see that happening. I think there's more in the pipeline to be built that'll add more incentive for Pulse X. It's a process. Yeah, I mean, everybody's obsessed with the idea of Richard Gard streaming, and it's like, well, he's basically stepping out down as an influencer and saying, my stuff is so good. I do not need to promote it. I don't need to push it. I don't need to even go on a live stream and talk about it. And it's still going to do amazing because guess what? It's not me that makes any of this go up. At this point, it speaks for itself. The community is getting behind it and crypto at large is interested, right? And that's what's going to make this successful. And actually, he could potentially push it harder, you know, and the, the price might go up a little more. But what does that do? It creates a little pump and then it creates a dump. So well, do we actually need that? Not necessarily. We need some uh, organic growth. Time will prove, you know, certain people will get washed out and we will go higher. It's healthy to have a nice long accumulation right before the bull run. Yeah, exactly. Once it starts going, they will chase that green candle to get the pulse chain pump. And once they are buying Pulse Chain, then they will be interacting with the PRC20s and the coins. So that's how I see it going. I see that happening anywhere from three to six months. Uh, that's the reality. That's just how the market works. They just chase green candles. And right now we're trying to find our floor on everything from Pulse X to, to Incentive Token to Pulse, X, Pulse Chain. Trying to find that floor. And when that floor is created, then the price goes up. And then that's when people come in because they're going to chase that pump. I will agree. I think a lot of people are mad about Pulse X. But I mean, the same thing that I said earlier, if people had a consensus that people should exit or invest in Pulse X to be able to exit it to move into Pulse, like you kind of already set in stone that Pulse X was going to find a price floor at launch, right? It wasn't going to have big exponential growth or go into the pluses. It was going to go into the negative. Okay. And like, that's no one's fault. 
right? The community, you know, suggested the people to do things without necessarily knowing or understanding the outcomes. But if you have a bunch of people exiting a token to move into another one, you know, it's going to go down. But for me, I think it's healthy seeing Pulse X finding its price for. I don't think it's a bad thing at all. I think Pulse's price being up, what is it, like 1.7x right now? I think that's healthy. I don't see a problem with that at all for a two-week launch new L1, right? So, like, most L1s take dips when they launch and where... Yeah, um, I mean, since day one of the sacrifice of Pulse X, I pretty much called that to a T. Like, I've seen that coming. That's just market sentiment. And market. That's just markets. You know, I've been around for a long time and I've seen it. Um, just numbers, statistics said that that was going to happen. Um, is that a bad thing? No. You know, if you're holding, it might look like a bad thing, but, you know, we've got another 700, 800, 900 days left into the bull market. So, um, here on day, what, 14? So <laughs> there's going to be a lot of upsets and a lot of drops and a lot of 85% drops from in the next two to three years. So either, you know, learn to hold and, and just deal with the whole, the dips. You're going to earn your stripes one way or another if you hold. Um, and they'll get easier and easier as your time goes by in crypto. So um, Pulse Chain, a little bit upsetting. You know, I was expecting more than the 3X. Um, but my time frame for me personally is eight years. So, like, it's not that big of a deal. Um, it's not like I was going to sell a 5X or anything anyway. So, it <laughs> didn't matter to me. But I was expecting a little more, um, more value out of that. But what I'm seeing is protection of a price point. So, I would be very, 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 very surprised if we fell under sacrifice price on Pulse Chain. And anyone that can get it at SAC levels, in my opinion, is going to buy it. It will create its floors. And then, in my opinion, up and to the right from there, everybody's going to be happy. It takes about, like I said, three to six months, and then everyone's going to have smiles on their faces. Yeah, I agree. I think um, six months <laughs> is um, a pretty good time span before things start to really kick off. But um, Matic took I was out when, when, well, it wasn't even Matic, it was Polygon at the time. It took about, what, a year and a half, two years for Matic to finally get going. So if you look at the Matic chart, it accumulated for a very, 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 very long time. I'm one of them who bought a nice bag of Matic, and it was like everything started going up. The bull market started going up, and I was like, bro, Matic is trash. It's over. I don't Matic bag 10x out of here. However, that thing just took off. <laughs> so... That that that's what crypto does. It makes sure you're impatient. It takes the money from the from the impatient and goes to the patient. Ethereum, believe it or not, you look at the Ethereum chart, it just looks like it went straight up. Incorrect. It went to three dollars, dumped down below the sacrifice price of thirty cents, and then went and it's just basically accumulated from sixty cents to a dollar twenty for about six to eight months. And then it started going up. So the reality of the situation is if you're looking at your phone and your computer all day on assets like this, layer ones and, and big, big assets like this, you got to look at the history of coins similar to it in previous bull runs. And you'll realize a big accumulation pattern. And sometimes it goes lower than what it was. But from SAC price or ICO price of Polygon, people were chilling at a 10x and only a 10x for about two years before it got those crazy massive gains that everyone saw and thought about. So leaving on this, there will be an accumulation period, in my opinion. There will be a rise, in my opinion, and there will be a blow off top, in my opinion, and there will be a 95, a 85 to 95 percent drop after that happens, in my opinion. So take all that in consideration, make your decisions, and go with it, because cycles are the same thing. They're just repetitive in this market. And once you realize the cycle on what happens, you'll be able to make better decisions for yourself. Yeah, completely right. And I did the same thing with um, Polygon. I was um, <laughs> impatient and I watched it run up. But I mean, um, yeah, <clears throat> that hurt um, and that was real. <laughs> You know, I, you see it all the time, though, with everything, right? So corrections happen all the time, right? Even if it's in a meme coin, not just an L1, right? So meme coins obviously happen quicker, right? But they're more speculative, of course. You know, they still take 80% corrections on their way to doing a thousand X, right? So 80% retraces, it's just normal. It happens all the time in crypto. It's in unrealistic to not think that it's going to happen, right? So if you look at the hex chart for a while, there's just like the Ethereum chart. It looks like it just went straight up. But if you zoom into the actual chart, it took 85, 90% dips the whole way, right? 
every single chart does nothing goes straight up and to the right so some people get mad at people for taking profits along the way or you can just accept that there's games that are played in crypto and accept market cycles and be okay with it you're either a holder or a trader you know richard says don't trade because some people make really bad choices all right so you can trade thinking that you know how the market's going to go and you sometimes have to end up buying back in at a higher price than what you exited because you can't know what the markets are going to do it's all speculative so you can choose your entry points right and dca and be happy with your entry points and understand that the market cycle well you've got another couple of years so be okay with your entry points and be okay with the market cycle because when charts start to run like they run and people chase the green candles and they run faster and quicker when you're least expecting it right so choose your entry point and be okay with it and just accept the market cycle and go with the ride right instead of getting consumed with prices if you can't handle looking at them and the corrections that it takes the 80 percent drops here and there which they 100 percent will every single token that we're looking at now is going to have those drops like i've watched layer ones garner steam and it takes a substantial amount of time because the walled garden surrounding that community does not really get out to the masses for quite some time and you're also in a bear market i mean did you guys i mean i say this rhetorically but for the people who actually thought that did you really expect this project to do a 200x right out of the gate no like what happened even what happened with hex it's not surprising either because the market it's Itself, this was a whole by the rumor for two years. Of course, you're going to have a massive sell. -in. And like, if you're not, if you can't stand the heat, you got to get out of the kitchen. That just because a new layer one launches doesn't mean you're going to 10,000 X in two months. Understand that this community is strong. It's what made Hex great. So why can't Pulse Chain and Pulse X be great? I, I don't see why that can't happen. So I'm with Polygon and I was around with multiple other launches and, you know, they all lack something that Pulse Chain has and it is the community, right? So people keep undervaluing our community do i still think it's going to take several years for price performance of course i do like i keep saying we're still in the bear market right the bull market doesn't kick off until 2024 after the halvening i think it's like march or something i would have to go look it's been way too long since i looked right but that's when price performance really starts and yes you can go look at historical data it's the same through every single cycle right cycles are the same constantly but the value add is our community and people keep overlooking it right so again every other l1 they launch with grant programs and yeah for projects that are launching on pulse chain it's a little frustrating that we don't have grant programs but those grant programs actually showcase pulse chain for being something so much stronger than all of those other l1s right so for instance with power city we have other pro like other blockchains reaching out to us asking us to build on their chain but we won't do it they offer money for projects to build on chain because they need new people to come through right where pulse chain doesn't have a grant program it doesn't pay people to come launch on chain it has a community that outreach to get projects to build on pulse chain that network and build these connections, that fork protocols and build protocols themselves, right? So Pulse Chain has more than what any of these L1s ever did when they launched. And I can say that with assurance because I was there for several of them, right? But when it comes to price performance, I don't know who said 100x in 100 days, right? <laughs> do I think that they can do extremely well? Yes, I do. Like, I honestly do. I personally wouldn't say it. And like- Oh, so do I. 